the uh, YouTube channel. It is uh, Lisbon Chemistry. I'm not looking for subs here. It's just, uh, I'm just uh, posting the videos on here. I've been posting them in the afternoons after class, and I set everything up in a playlist. So uh, right now we are the introductory chemistry lecture series right here. Um, I also do have uh, videos from older semesters that basically give all the different uh, topics, you know, by topic. I didn't quite get to the end of the semester, so that shouldn't be a problem. But I do have all the practice quizzes and exams that are linked to on Canvas if you want to try those. But I just want to show this to you guys. Just make sure that you're. Uh, you're not good. Oh, yeah, watch out for the audio. It's kind of loud. <laughs> I'm realizing oh, it's on full blast too. Is probably part of it. But um, yeah, just a warning that this thing's picking up uh, a lot of really loud audio. It's not the best mic. I thought about getting a different mic. I clip on here. But anyway, the audio is pretty bad. Just make sure you turn it down when you start the video, especially if you're wearing earbuds. <laughs> you're, you're gonna blow your eardrums out then. <coughs> but anyway, they're up here. And if you forgot what we went over last time, you can you know drop in here, get a quick overview, kind of skim through it because I'm not going to be posting my lecture notes online, uh, the handwritten ones. We're just going to do stuff in class, and then I'll post to YouTube uh, when I get around to it. Um, I do also want to point out that, uh, yes, I am aware that you guys could potentially just you know, watch us at home. I want you guys to be here. And if I notice that about half the class is absent, we'll just have a surprise quiz that day. And it might be something like, write your name down, because I'm just giving you guys all points for being here. So uh, if you don't want to miss out on points, don't miss class. So, and hopefully it won't be an issue. Um, it hasn't been an issue in the past, me doing this kind of stuff, and I'm hoping it's not an issue with you guys. All right, so with that stuff out of the way, I want to go ahead and uh, continue with what we were uh, talking about. I believe we were going over uh, significant figures, that kind of thing. I think we did a few uh, calculations as well, or we went over the rules, right? Well, the, for multiplication and division rules, we get through all that stuff last time. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me go ahead and switch over to DocQM. I think I got this whole thing figured out, but I will fix the focus. All right, let me just throw up some numbers here, so. Right, so give it something to focus on. All right, don't focus off. Bear with me here. Come on. There we go. All right. So uh, how many uh, six figs do we have that number? There are five six figs. And then what about that number? There are three. So five six figs. So remember that uh, trailing zeros that are after a decimal. Uh, these are significant, and then leading zeros, even if they're to the right of a non-zero here, basically they're just holding that position. So these two, these three zeros are not significant, but the two at the end are. And typically that's where students get tripped up is with leading zeros or trailing zeros. Typically everything else is a little bit more obvious. And so the main thing that you guys are going to have to get comfortable with is using these end calculations. So let's just go ahead and do one example, and then we're going to go ahead and continue with the uh, metric system conversion stuff. All right, let's go ahead and do that. And then let's go ahead and say... So we're basically saying this number is pi. So when we do these calculations, we need to follow the order of operations, right? Mm 